lot of us left a piece of us wherever we were deployed at. When we come home, that piece somehow is not there. Dan Martin enlisted in the Navy in 1985 after graduating high school at 17. And I grew up in Chicago, poor, so it was my way out. My brother and sister never, you know, graduated high school. They dropped out. My mother dropped out. My father never finished fifth grade, never learned how to read or write. School was a, a, a way to set myself apart. Dan is a warrior by degrees. He is the first in his family to go to college. The post 9-11 GI Bill made that possible. He's also a veteran with invisible wounds. Among the one in five returning veterans with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, and like many who transitioned to campus life from the theater of war. We were escorting tankers from Kuwait through the Gulf and they were mining the Straits of Hormuz. I guess when you're 20-something, you're it doesn't seem that dangerous. It was. Aboard the USS Schofield in the Iran-Iraq War, he suffered a third traumatic brain injury. When I got out, I couldn't concentrate, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't focus. Doctors at the VA told him the brain damage is permanent. You'll learn how to live around it. You'll learn how to adapt. Just as uh, some of my brothers and sisters don't have a, a leg, so they have a prosthetic or an arm or whatever. Now I know I don't have everything I have going on upstairs. Um, I just have to build my own aids. Aids like a pulse pen that records his lectures. So I can take that accounting class so I can... You know, he enrolled in electrical engineering at IUPUI, sure one of 1,200 military-friendly schools in the U.S. They want to kind of complete the mission, so to speak. Um, the mission is obtaining that degree. You can go to VA and get copies of your medical records for all your treatment at the VA. Dan is also special because he, he's always willing to speak up or, you know, help another veteran. It's credibility. It's like, hey, look, I, you know, I spilt the same blood in the same mud as you. Dan earned his bachelor's degree at age 44. You know, I had a math instructor tell me that I should switch majors. I'd never graduate from IUPY with an electrical engineering degree. My proudest moment was the day I graduated. I look at this for my son's future. It's for my family's past. Service to country takes many forms. Dan's applying to law school so he can advocate for other veterans. The electrical engineering degree, that was for me. That was personal. That was... Uh, that's all the things I've wanted to be. I have a lot of degrees for everybody else. Now I have something to focus on that I can give back and I can serve my country uh, one better at a time.